Hi, I am Dr. Anjati Tanesha, Principal Consultant, Obzen Gaini, Cloud9 Hospital, Patpadganj. So, all females have two ovaries and the eggs are present in the ovaries since birth. Once puberty happens, every month, under the effect of the hormones which are released from the brain, one egg matures and develops and is released from the ovary. This is what we call as ovulation. So if the pregnancy does not occur, periods happen and this is how the menstruation occurs. So cycles in which this egg fails to get released are called as an ovulatory cycle. So if you are not ovulating, you may experience delayed periods. You may not actually bleed without the help of medication. So these are the usual signs. So it can be due to just because you have just had your periods and the hypothalamic pituitary, the brain axis which controls periods is maturing. It can be due to PCOD which we call as polycystic ovarian disease, a condition in which number of eggs in the ovary are poor but are not getting released properly or it could be due to premature ovarian failure or sometimes it can be simply functional due to stress or eating disorders, all these can also cause anovulation. So for diagnosis, usually your doctor will suggest you an ultrasound, which is we call as follicular monitoring, in which serial scans are done to see how the egg matures and is getting released from the ovary. In an anovulatory cycle, the treatment goals depend on the outcome we desire. If the patient does not have fertility desire and just wants uh, her periods to be regular, the advice will be lifestyle modification, which includes eating a healthy and balanced diet, maintaining an active lifestyle, and maybe some medicines to give her regular periods, which can include hormonal and non-hormonal medicines. If the desire is fertility, that she wants a kid, then her management goals can be different. In that case, if she is obese, she is told to lose weight, optimize her BMI, again maintain an active lifestyle in which she is encouraged to involve in some form of exercise. And then she may need ovulation induction drugs, that is medicines which help inducing the egg so that the egg is formed and her fertility desire can be taken care of.